Yo, dog, Kenny Boucher here. Next level painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days. Coming to you from the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California. We're doing it again. I'm hitting you with another Mantic Orc, finishing off the season of the Beast. This guy was painted on Twitch, and all the VODs are on Patreon. Definitely sign up today. Or if you're already signed up, thank you. We got some secret weapon minis. In the house, some of them OG paints, tire black, night blue, and we're going to be working with an Elrix Hobbies base, that new asphalt line. I'm going to be working kind of a wet blend, ghetto blending technique. We're going to be laying it down real thin, lots of moisture, laying down some of the darker version of this. We're just swirling together on the wet palette. Ain't no right way to do this, no wrong way to do this. And we're just laying it down nice and dark, nice and wet. And then we're going to just start grabbing some of the bright color here in a second with tons and copious amounts of water. And we're going to use the brush to let them kind of blend together because the water, the capillary effects, everything is going to kind of just suck the two colors together. Now we've got to kind of lay down. You see it's preposterous. Now here's some of the night blue. Just going to slash it in. Okay, that sucks. That sucks. But look, you see what's happening? It's slowly spider webbing in. We're going to add some more moisture. Wiped off the brush. We're just going to feather. Just touch it with 99% dirty water. And you see how that blend just came to life. That's a OG wet blend technique. Boom. Lay it down. Super thin. Crazy, crazy wet. It's not like as thin as you think. It's just crazy wet. Right? And when I feel like it's good and piled up and it's good and wet... Real fast, you don't have a lot of t a work time here. You don't want to just like walk away and come back or take your time. You want to move quick. Pow, bravery. You're rewarded for bravery. Go hard, go fast. Look at that. You see how it's spider webbing in. Rinse the brush, get some more moisture on it, and just start feathering them in. If you feel like you got too much of the highlight, you can go back to the dark color, sneak it back in. But as it dries, you're going to see it's a lot more muted. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just carve in some more highlight, just a little bit more precise, and just let the water soften the effect. We're going to just touch it, dab it in, dry the brush off, just kind of keep it going. And look at that, how they just all blend together. Neil Burnt Red, Odessa Red in the house. We're going to lay it down on these bricks. Real streaky, real shitty. Too watery to put right over a black prime model. In a perfect world, you would have mixed it a little darker, but that's fine. I'm going to go. I'm going for something a little patchy. I'm going to even grab some of that tire black that's sitting on my palette and just fuck it. Throw it in there. Just start swirling it in there. No, no rhyme, no reason. This is so meaningless. Just go hard. Go hard. Stay brave. You can create nice, realistic, solid basing effects with just a little bravery. Okay, let that dry for a minute. Now what we're going to do is round two, bring some of that Neo Red in, keep it kind of thin, just sort of like blaze, which is like lazy glazing. We're going to blaze it kind of in super fast, create some fake ass highlights, super easy. Don't overthink it. Let it be kind of weird looking. It's a base. I want it kind of distorted, kind of patchy. All right. It's dried up. Now we're going to do a quick dry brush technique. Grab your favorite dry brush. We're going to grab the night blue, pure, out of the pot dry it up and we're going to dry brush it right over the gravel this doesn't take much it's going to hit some of the rocks now this is pretty good looking you can leave it just like this if you want the base this bright then you're done too easy right but i'm going to introduce some oil washes because we're going to go on a journey today we're going to use some bonus effects some bonus products and bonus techniques so mr weathering color we're going to be using that stain brown and we're going to just stain up the rocks, the rubble. Now, this rubble, I kind of glued it on myself to kind of mask the fact that this pewter orc model via Mantic was on his own little like metal disc. So we kind of like pinned him to the model, glued him on, and I concealed that with some rocks. So I'm just going to hit it with a little of this brown stain, create some kind of like, oh, who fucking knows? Like, it's your narrative. I don't care. I'm, I'm just want, I'm looking for contrast, right? I'll let the brain decide what's going on there. We're going to pull out a different brush, kind of feather the oil, let it just soften. Now, there is a gray, multi-gray. I like this. It creates a nice dusty effect. You can use this on the bottoms of his feet. Go on kind of hard. There is a solvent that I am using on occasion to help thin it. 
You don't need it uh, for every application, but it's pretty good to make sure you have the weathering solvent to go along with this product. It is an oil wash, one of the best in the game. Just, you know, throw on a, a speck or two on the feet, maybe throw some in on the base randomly, let that just be a nice patchwork of dust. Too easy. Throw some up on these tiles, these bricks, whatever they are, the facing of a building that got destroyed. Just, you know, kind of patchy. It feels like it's too aggressive. Soften it up with light brush brush and a little bit of the solvent or just a brush with no oil on it will work too. I'm using just shit brushes out of my coffee cup of wonders. Bow. Patchwork. Too easy. Now, let's grab the ultimate multi black. I'm going to grab a copious amount of weathering solvent and just touch it to the asphalt and it is going to disperse rapidly into the base. It's already almost halfway done. It's gonna give us a really solid filter. It's gonna knock the whole thing down to the same grimy reality. It's gonna live in that same wasteland and it's gonna provide us a sense of realism and contrast. So it's just dispersing, it's finding its way in between all the gravels, all the rocks. It's gonna amp it up by creating nice shadows, kind of wringing each little pebble, each granule, all the textures. You can slap some of this on the bottom of his feet. You can let it creep up his boots. You can do anything with it, man. The oil washes are the shiznite. I'm gonna throw a little bit here up on the tiles, kind of throw it up on that random debris, just chilling up there. Throw some up on his boots. It's all good, man endlessly useful now we just got another layer on his boot and we're gonna let it dry there it is that's after look at that that's done put that in your pipe and smoke it but i'm gonna grab parchment it's a secret web miniatures wash i'm gonna actually use this to brighten the neo red a little bit and i'm gonna carve in a couple of bonus highlights bonus you can drop a couple of quick edges on some random debris on the base to really amp up the effect. Look at that. Just some random parchment, basically a skin tone or like a an umber, or sorry, like an ochre woodwork here. Umber's brown, guys. Boom, there it is. Get that ridge, it's where it snapped off. Parchment, neo red. Love it. It's beautiful. Now, obviously, we can go a step further here in this base with effects. Now that we've drawn some lines, we've got some washes, we can dip into the gamer's grass arsenal. Get some tufts, right? I'm gonna grab two little tufts, pop them off, and I'm just gonna use the self-adhesion quality of these. I'm just gonna jam them into the base until it, it is good and stuck. Now I advise you to, after it's been a minute and it's you know it's for sure gonna stay, throw a little wash up against the grass where it meets the base or not, it's entirely up to you. But hey, that's it guys. That's how you do a Mantic Orc. Follow me on Patreon for all these projects in real time and play on players. If you like these tutorials, check out Next Level Painting on Patreon. Become a patron of the arts today. We offer early and exclusive access to our videos and a rewards program for different pledge levels. Patreon is PayPal and credit card secure, so you don't have to worry about that. We use 100% of the money to improve our process.